The reality is we're in a field, but quantum physics reveals no, everything is energy. So one energy affects another energy. Energy is a broadcast. And so let's say if I want to watch television in the old days before cable, I have an antenna. <laughs> The antenna picks up the energy of the field and the, and the system then translates that energy into a picture if it's a television set, okay? The cells are receiving a broadcast. They have an identity set of receptors, like antennas. When I'm sending signals to a cell, I can send a signal via a broadcast, just like, you know, television broadcast or radio or cell phone broadcast. Or I can send signals using a chemical to be the carrier of the signal. It's really critical to understand that the ability to receive a signal and respond to it will determine whether you're going to live or survive. If you can read the signal, you can make a response. If you can't read the signal, you can't make a response. So the faster, more efficient way of signaling would be chosen by a cell to coordinate the life functions of 50 trillion cells. So it turns out on our individual cells, each one of us has a different set of these antennas. The relevance is this. My cells are coordinated by a broadcast of identity. And that broadcast is connected to the nervous system. So a thought can be broadcast to get 50 trillion cells simultaneously at the same time. While a chemical communication can never do that just because of the physical parameters of moving a chemical from A to B. Can you move chemicals that fast throughout a body to get everything to coordinate? And the answer is no. The thing that can coordinate is a broadcast because it's transparent to the body. It can go through the entire body instantaneously and affect all cells instantaneously. Cells can respond to chemical signals, drugs, hormones, factors like that. And cells can respond to an energy broadcast. If I was gonna pick, if a cell's life depended on getting the signal, which form of signaling would it, would it really use? And the answer is an energy broadcast because it's the fastest signal and an energy signal is 100 times more efficient in carrying information than is a chemical signal. So I say, yeah, cells can respond to chemicals, but cells respond to energy signals with a higher priority.